once again, let's make sure the program is actually recording. It is. Hopefully, uh, I'm saving it for a new computer, and when I get if I get that, I should have a webcam and get fraps with it. After I get it, rather, and I have a much a lot more reliable program. I saved it th this way just in case for some reason the recording program didn't save all of it. Last video. Oh yeah, we've already seen that. Oh, let me click it again. Oh, it's over here again. The yes. Hey, my teen. Wait, 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 stop. Okay, what is this supposed to be? A diary, maybe? Okay. In my teenage years, it was my only joy to examine and roam through places where rumors had been spread. Human lifestyle was not for me. I always searched for the race of the inhuman. I visited old cemeteries full of dread, old ruined buildings, and spent most of my time in these places. Which were suffused, so the, the text is kind of hard to read in the writing style, with the black veil of myths and rumors. One day, I bought a sound recorder and started recording the environmental sounds of these desolate places where I'd been spending my time alone. And I'll tell you a funny story about, about that in a minute, actually. Fairly soon, I had a large collection of recordings. Some nights, when I couldn't sleep, I used to put my headphones on and listen to these those sounds, which seemingly did not belong to this world. When carefully heated, these the sounds almost materialized to be touched. Genius Loki, Loki, could be heard. When my secret treasure trove was discovered by my family, because Jonathan blabbed about it. All my recordings were destroyed. They forced me to go to a psychologist for one year. I can still remember how Jonathan used to call me ghoul around that time. Anyway, against those odds, I never abandoned this. I think I can say passion. Men never abandon the things that are bound up in their hearts, even if they are suppressed. They never forget. When I was just 22 years old, Jonathan and I became solely responsible for my father's company. I had no time whatsoever for anything else but work. I was so happy when I took over the company from my father. I will never forget that period of my life. Today, I bought myself a new tape recorder. As I said earlier, I would never abandon my mish passion. I can now pursue my interest in a serious and mature way without the recklessness of youth. Cassette number one, record number zero 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 one and zero 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 two, old and now unused, Moreland Cemetery, Bringston, which is actually where um, the earthquake hit. Bringston is a small old town which was established 18 miles northwest of the city center of Wellsmouth. The farms, which are situated whilst going to the north, are as old as the town itself. There are stories which have been told for a long time about a tomb in an old and now unused cemetery called Moreland Cemetery that is situated right in that old part of Bringston. It is said that some nights, strange noises and indescribable, disgusting smells come within that from within that tomb. Some people use the rough pathway which passes 150 meters west of the Moreland Cemetery, relate that they saw some torturously twisted silhouettes and heard some howling, screaming, and squeaking sounds that they could not identify. I started my recordings here about 2.48 a.m. It was so dark and overcast that it was almost impossible to see the surroundings. I used a small flashlight but I had to be very cautious because of rumors about some grave robbers who plundered the old graves by spreading all the bones around in a disgusting and human manner. The metallic half door, half open door of the notorious tomb had some figures and half reliefs similar to rodents, the gates of hell. 
It was rusted and had started to crumble away, the effect of passing years. The spacious interior smelled really awful. The cover of the stone tomb was broken, and the interior was visible through an opening. The floor of the tomb had collapsed to a wide underground hole. I heard that during a strong earthquake four years ago, some parts of Ringston collapsed into underground holes or caves. I think this same earthquake was the reason for the collapse of that tomb. Excuse me, sorry. I recorded both the interior of the tomb and the building surrounding it. Record number 0003 in a cave near the Northwood Forest. I know we've heard about that cave before, but I can't remember where. I think it was might have been the newspaper as well. The whereabouts of this cave, which is located three miles away from the notorious Northward Forest, is not widely known. It is connected to some other caves that form a complex underground network. It is a ruin that a lot of people have become lost inside and never return. Some people claim they have seen fires inside and heard some sinister sounds coming from the depths of that cave at night. Record number 0004 by the dig in my cellar, some sounds were coming from the well in my cellar, which, there's a door down there that's locked, Now I really want to get open. I don't know what lies beneath it, or the reasons for its construction. From the top of the well, I used a flashlight to examine the well, but it was too deep for me to see the bottom. The sounds coming from below make me think that there are some animals down there. I believe it must connect to a tunnel that leads outside somewhere. Might somehow lead to the caves if it can go that far. Record number 0005. For some time, I have been woken up by squeaking, trembling, and slight wind sounds whose source I cannot identify. Several times, hardly suppressing my fear, I roamed the house but couldn't find anything out of the ordinary. It is said that in houses this old, these noises are common. I guess I'll just have to get used to it. 6 and 7. In the well. Side eight, seven in the well. Because the workers I hired for restoration left the job half done due to some sounds they claimed to hear from within the well. The rusty ladder that I hadn't dared brave before was my only avenue. I brought a strong flashlight to inspect the interior. I decided to record some sounds down there, but I could only record some sounds in the room that the tunnel leads to. When I listened to the recordings later on, I noticed some defects. There were some deep noises and rumblings on every recording. I think that the dirty and choking atmosphere of the well Cause my quarter to mix function. That's it. 8 to 10. In Ivor's place. Uh -huh. Let's see if that will help him out. I had an opportunity to make some recordings in the warm eaten place which Ivor and some other friends of his are using as a meeting place. I don't think we've heard about Ivor yet. Maybe it's in the other notes I found that I haven't read yet. When I told Ivor that I wanted to make some recordings, he preempted me with a strange and disturbing smile on his face by saying that he was sure that I would succeed in making great recordings. That building which seemed so strangely strong while showing the signs of rottenness all over made me feel e very uneasy. Christopher T. Dredden, one of the three men in that meeting apart from Ivor and me, told me that this place was built by an unknown witch. I couldn't be sure as to whether he was being serious due to the sardonic smile perpetually on his wizened, thin, long, pale faced while he spoke to me. I 
I got a dread me achievement. I'll have to look that up too. Let's see if we can get Ivor or um. Let's do all this and see if we can find anything on there. the recordings I don't think so but I'm gonna try it anyway to eliminate it as a possibility maybe I figured everything out already I think I figured everything out here. Let's just do this whole paragraph. I know I've said I won't do that, but. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm trying to get the well to say something about the well, but I don't. Th I think I figured everything out. That's gotta be it. If he keeps saying that, well, that was good. We figured that out. I did write it really well with that. Oh, the story I was telling you. Uh, it was a while back. Me and my friend were trying to do. I seen some strange things in my house. So my, my friend were doing their tape recorder thing, and we took it downstairs because I had seen some things down there, experienced some things down there, and we left it alone. We we were listened to it, it all of a sudden stopped, and at first we were like kind of creeped out by it, and then I started to think, I was like, wait a minute, and I set it the showcase is empty. I wonder what strange things were displayed here. Oh, that was like a cat's eyes for a minute. And uh, I set it down to, to test it, a theory of mine, and when you left it uh, on for a little bit without detecting sound, it cut itself off, and we laughed at ourselves for about like an hour after that about it. I think it all freaked out. There are a lot of different masks here. I think they are African. Very old books, volumes of forgotten lore. Very old books, volumes of forgotten lore. But yeah, yeah. That one just looked a little bit different. It's probably the shadowing. I think some, a lot of this is just examining the table, just to get a close-up view of it, just to get you more in depth and immersed into the atmosphere. I still don't wonder how that thing's working. Did I check this place, this back out? Can I check all the way back here or not? Or what's this? Oh, I found something. It's only one page. The case of Alfonso Rugger. Summarized below are the known psychological problems caused by taking the hallucinogenic mister called Devershay Sahi. I don't know how to say that. Uh, C D V. Never say, I don't know. During a heightened emotional state. Ex excessive anger, worry, fear, etc. These psychological problems can sometimes be extremely harsh and can even lead to permanent madness. It is known that some Esoteric ethnic groups use a secret mixture in their religious rites and festivals. A typical example of this can be found in the notes of the famous occultist and philosopher Alfonso Rugger, dated October 2nd, 
1833. Its notes cover the period of time from the 11th of October, 1832, to the time of his death on 12th November, 1833. Well, he didn't. He 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 didn't. He died like really quickly after he. after he started it. For more information, re please refer to the book The Verse, A Black Void, which relates his experience with The Verse. I'm just going to say it, and I'm going to look it up so we can figure it out tonight. I think I'm going to know how to pronounce it right for the rest of the video, or the rest of the videos. And it was complied after his death from Henry Records. October 2nd, 1833. After extensive trials, I can say that it, the first shay, has pro profound side effects. Its ability to alter consciousness is unbelievable. Unfortunately, my detailed research has only uncovered a few fragments of information about this mixture. Even though its effects are short-lived, the experience is very powerful. It is difficult to describe, but I would say that it pushes the soul to its very limits. I must add that I feel a strange sensation from it, as though it creates emptiness inside the body. But of course, these are very vague descriptions of my experience. Perhaps someone else will describe it differently. Let's do the whole thing. This might not even be important to the date. Let's do. Let's do this sentence. I'm trying to hit, make sure I hit the right area for if there is anything in here. Let's do his death. The sentence within it, that is within rather. This probably isn't anything now that I'll look at it, but I almost don't want to see. No. And then uh, this is a lot of reading, but still. Some of the rooms, including this one, have only been partially restored. The furniture has been played placed haphazardly. I really need to do, and I'll do it next time, is so I'll read the notes that I picked up. Some rope. Well, I know, I'm pretty sure with that, we're going to use that for, well, as soon as we get that door open in the basement, that is. Moss. What I need to do is, yeah, like I said, uh, I'll read that next time. Can I look into there? Because I'm going to finish exploring the house all that we can at this point in this video. An unfinished bathroom. Or some of the toilet's been torn out. That's it that we can explore, and then I want to. Yeah.
Did I ever go back in here? Yeah, that's the basement, obviously. Of course I went back in there. That's what we're trying to unlock. I'm going to try one more thing before we end the video. I really don't think it's going to work, but it's worth a try. It's at least eliminates the possibility of it. Oh, didn't think so. Alright, everybody, that is it. Next time, we will read those notes. Maybe try and get some documents out of it. Or, I mean, uh, clues out of it. And see what doors we can unlock and explore the rest of the house. Good night.